Hi, I'm Haley J. Madison. And I'm Allison Egan. And we're from Her Name Was Torment 2. And you're watching Mr. Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Dark Water. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's directed by Hideo Nakata. And what this movie is about is about this mother who, she's a single mother, and uh, she's moving into an apartment complex that's kind of like, um, run down in a way. It's very, uh, it needs a lot of updates, and there's just a lot of damage done to it, but they can't really afford anything, so she moves there with her daughter, and she's trying to win sole custody of her daughter. And while they're in this building, they uh, start to see weird things. They start to see this, like, uh, little girl here and there, and uh, they're, like, in their apartment building in the one corner, there's, like, a big water stain, and then it just, like, throughout the movie, it gets bigger and bigger, and uh, they just start hearing voices, and it's just, like, a lot of crazy shit's going on, and the mother doesn't know, is she going crazy, because nobody's believing her that this is going on, and uh, a lot of strange stuff is going on, and, you know, she, again, like, she wants to have sole custody of her daughter, and because of all this, everybody kind of thinks she's crazy so she's you know struggling to lose grasp of reality and of her daughter the shot by the same cinematographer as ring and pulse i think i've seen pulse i know i've seen ring uh it's also uh from the creators of japan's version of the ring of ringu uh, which i've never seen actually i've never seen the japanese version of that and uh it's actually from the short story uh from the ring author Koji Suzuki and uh, I again I didn't say any names in this that people who started because I can't pronounce anything I don't even know if I'm saying these names right but uh this movie um it, it's it's a good movie okay it's a ghost story and uh it's like a uh, drama in a way it it has like like you have to read I re obviously read the subtitles because it's in Japanese it doesn't take anything away from the movie but uh you could you could really get a, a feel for this family like the mother you could see how she's slowly deteriorating through the movie and like kind of losing her mind over everything that's going on it's a very emotional movie as well especially the ending the ending uh kind of like I, I i don't know i can't say i like the ending but it, it was done very well um, and the uh, reason I, I don't like the ending is because of what happens and i can't say obviously what happened in it but uh it's it's you know kind of a, an upsetting ending you know uh in in a sad way and which i was you know i'm surprised at but i don't want to say any more i don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen this but um i i i thought it was good i know this uh there's an american version of it um which i guess came out like 2006 this came out in i believe 2002 yeah 2002 and um it's a j har obviously like i said uh it and it's it looks very nice shot very well the sound sounds good uh it's it's not too scary like i think like the grudge and the ring and that i i think they're like another level and this is more of a um i wouldn't say family oriented either but it's not as scary as those you know as the ring but it has like that kind of element to it as well i don't know it's it it is what it is. But like I said, there's another, uh, well, there's an American version of this, and Jennifer Connelly's in it. And I do remember that, sort of. I, I have to re-watch it. I remember not really uh, hating it, and I don't, I don't really remember if I liked it, because I never watched it again. But I do remember uh, certain things from that movie were kind of like this. But uh, I'll have to re-watch it to see which one I like more. But um, So yeah, th this all in here has uh, the special edition it has uh you know of course the transfer and all that stuff there's a uh new optional english substitute translation which actually um the translation seemed to work good i mean i don't know i don't know what they said but i'm assuming everything made sense so i guess it worked out right uh there's a, a um, thing on here for uh an option of a ghost rings and water which is a brand new interview with director Hideo nakata and in uh, Family Terrors, and it's an interview with author Koji Suzuki, and visually visualizing horror, and that's a new interview with cinematographer 
And here we go. Juni Junichiro Hayashi. Yep. Uh, and uh, there's also archive interviews with the actress Hitomi Kuroki and Asami. But see, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. It's, it has interviews with the two main act actresses. Um, there's trailers and TV spots, and there's a uh, reversible sleeve. And this artwork here is from Peter Strain. So I'll give you a better look at that. And there's the newer artwork from Peter Strain. I think that looks really good. Kind of like an eerie little presence in the back there, which you learn about in the movie. And here's the original cover. It's more of an actual picture. And there's the Japanese writing down there and uh, dark water. And uh, the side just, you know, normal. And this one has a different font. I do like both. I like I like the newer one. I like the colors. It kind of, it kind of like is kind of cold to me because water has something to do with this movie and that's all I'm saying but uh, that so that captures it if you see the movie that captures it very well and then that's the hallway to their apartment building and uh, that's a that's cool too it's a little plain but I do like the Japanese writing on there and then on the inside here we have the blu-ray and the DVD and they are region A and B I believe both of them are a and B. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure it just says A and B, but they're region A and B. And then of course there's a booklet. And the front of the booklet is the original cover without all the, you know, writing and everything. And there's the little girl in the movie. You know, film credits and all that. The usual stuff, pictures and other kind of things they talk about in the movie. Uh, you know, about the transfer, production credits and all that. I wasn't, you know, blown away by this movie, but I did. I did like it. I, it did hit my heartstrings at times, and you know, <clears throat> being a parent, I think it it really helped too because trying to um, you know keep your child safe, which is what she did. The main actresses played a great part. They, you know, great role. Uh, the little girl was a you know cute little girl, and she just you could really tell the emotions, even if you can't understand what she's saying. It's the same thing with her mother, even though you're reading the subtitles, but you could still see that emotion coming out in their in their face and it like really um you know it, it just was great you know they did, just did a really good job but like i said i wasn't blown away by this movie but it was a good movie i think it's worth a watch and uh it's you know arrow just did a another great job um so that's it for this make sure you check out the trailer for this movie at the end of this video and give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on facebook instagram twitter tumblr and horror amino and twitch uh, all the links will be below in the description box so that's it thanks everybody for watching talk to you later bye すいません。さっきなんかバケツの水をこぼしちゃったみたいに。